Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you the best way to fit two bikes, all your and a passenger, all in a mid-size sedan without putting down any seats and sacrificing any legroom. Now, you might think this is impossible. You might think for this, you would need a big SUV or a large pickup truck, but you actually don't. What you do need is to just be smart and resourceful. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it. So, I've got a 2022 Trek Marlin 6. I've got all of my camping gear, and I've got a 2020 Cervelo S-Series and a passenger. Now, these are not small bikes. This Cervelo is a size 58, which is almost the highest size they go in. And for the 2022 Trek Marlin 6, it is a size extra large. So these are not small frames, but all of this will fit in a mid-size sedan. Okay, so to start, we're gonna take both wheels off the bike. And one thing to always make sure of, this will be a lot easier if you make sure the chain is in the front cog and the chain is in the very front cog on the back as well. So it should be closest to you on both cogs. If you don't do it that way, taking the wheel off is gonna be a lot harder. So let's start with this. So we just take the front wheel off. Don't lose the through axles. There's one wheel and we will take the through axle of the second one. So you see, it's actually very easy to take those wheels off. So that's all we do with the one bike. Now we just do the same thing with the second bike. Flip it upside down. This chain is not in the cog closest to me, so I'm gonna switch it. Okay, there we go. And this is a one by up here, so that's gonna make it easier. So now we'll just go ahead and take this guy off as well. Now we'll take off this one. The wheels should come off here just as easily. So we'll just set that aside there for now. Set it down gently and this should slide right out. And we'll set that there gently as well. Okay, now let's open the back seat of the car. I like to use a blanket just so the chains and the chain rings don't rub against the leather. I'm just gonna lay the blanket as such. Okay, and you can see I have a nice, easy setup here to put all my stuff. I don't need to worry about the seats getting scratched. So let's go ahead and put the bikes in. Let's start with the bigger one. Mountain bikes tend to be bigger. So, they're also a lot heavier. I always put the handlebars on opposite sides. That way you get a little more room. And then the wheels should fit right in. Okay, and then we just shut the door. And this door should shut with no problem. Easy peasy, just like that. So now, all of our crap, oh, I forgot a few things. The through axles. Do not forget these. One time, I forgot these. I made the whole trip useless. I usually just put them right down here. By the way, if you're the kind of person that cares about scratching things and doesn't like doing that, you can put more towels and blankets around each individual piece and that'll prevent scratching. Me personally, I don't really care. I buy things to use them. But if you do care, it's totally fine. You can fix that by just using blankets, towels, 
other kind of tarps and covers. But for me, this works just fine. I have traveled all over the country in this same car with bikes just like this, and I've never had a single problem. So it works for me. So that's all there is to it. Now, as promised, all of your crap. Well, as you saw, we still have the whole trunk open. Look at all the beautiful space. Could probably fit a third bike in there if you wanted to. Let's put all of our stuff. Probably could have left that empty for the video, but that'll be authentic. This is my camera bag. It's not on Instagram, never happened. Laptop bag, gotta do work. Gotta work to pay for all these freaking bikes. Water slash biking bag. <laughs> hiking bag. Gotta have one of these. If you're in Chicago, you know it gets freezing cold here. Got my winter survival kit. Put that in there. Got my snow scraper. You don't need one of these. Toss that in there. Look at that. You could probably fit even more in there if you wanted to. Close that. Now let's go to the front. And that of course leaves the passenger seat wide open. So if my passenger can come over here, you get your passenger, you take your passenger, <laughs> did you gain weight? No, I lost a pound. Okay, you take your passenger and you, and there she is. You've got your bikes, your passenger, your crap, and you, are ready to go. And how is it in there, Mrs. Passenger? Is I've, there enough leg room? I've got all the leg room in the world and I can even move my seat back. And I'm 6'1", by the way, and I fit in here just fine. And so now we just drive. That's all there is to it, folks. Now we are headed out to Moab, Utah. We're gonna hit up Slick Rock, Captain Ahab, all the world's best trails. No, I'm not actually gonna do that, I'm kidding. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> but that's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you liked it. Check out the vegan bar. Bleh. Check out the vegan bobber on Instagram. Good content. I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.